This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell so, Greetings, greetings once again my sports to the bone people Welcome back, welcome back to the channel Thank you all for checking this video out Alright my people, so couple of things I want to talk about in this one so yesterday we saw some information coming out of the CWI that they have decided to bring in Kevin Sinclair for Raymond Reefer as they look to take on India in the second test so we're going to talk about that plus we see where um renowned cricket commentator David uh, Joseph Reds Pereira he was speaking on the West Indies and he was saying that, you know, um, the selectors need to make some bold decision and leave out some of these guys. So we're going to talk about that. And we see where a couple of our regional players, they have been doing well in the MLC. That's Major League Cricket. We would have seen Dwayne Bravo yesterday getting 76 not out. Yeah, man, um, remind the, reminding the people that when he just started out in the, in the game, you know, he was actually a very good batsman before he decided to start the, the, the focus on the bowling. So we're going to talk about all of that. Just give a listening ear until the end and make me know what you think in the comment section. All right, so taking this um, one year from the Sportsmax website, we spoke about it on the live show yesterday, but this is the official word. So the headline says, Reefa dropped Sinclair in as West Indies name squad for second India test. So with this sort of change, you know, you can imagine that uh, the plan is to bat, um, is to play Kurt McKenzie and Alec Arthur in the same game. Because, you know, one of them going to have to bat at three and, and, and thing. Because Rafa is out of the game, Kevin Sinclair is coming in. He is more than likely going to go straight in, into the team. Um, I hope they don't pick two spinners because you definitely you know, want two spinners, spinners at Trinidad. So, so the, the Sportsmax article says the Cricket West Indies CWI uh, Seniors Men's, Men's Selection panel today announced the squad uh, for the second uh, test against India. They said the panel named 13 squad uh, members and two traveling reserve players uh, for the match. You know, the match will start on the 20 and will go up. Well, it should go up until the 24. We don't know how long it's going to go for. So they say Kevin uh, Sinclair, the off-spinning all-rounder, has replaced Raymond Reefer in the squad. Right? So Reefer will, however, travel to Trinidad as cover in case of injury <laughs> ah boy they say Sinclair was among the leading wiki takers in the West Indies Championship a four day first class competition earlier this year so they decided to work with him and he was a member of the West Indies A team that went to Bangladesh so that is the change right there so just to remind you of the squad Craig Brathwaite, Jermaine Blackwood, Alec Arthanes Tej Narayan Shandopal, Rakim Cornwall, Joshua De Silva, Shannon Gabriel, uh, Jason Holder, Alzari Joseph, Kurt McKenzie, Kima Roach, Kevin Sinclair and Jamel Warikan. And the traveling reserve you have Tevin Imlak, Akim Jordan. And as they said, you know, Mr. 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 Number Three man going 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 travel to provide coverage in case of anything. Now prayer to the squad coming out. Uh, Joseph Reds Pereira, you know, he spoke about the team and said that some bold decisions need to be made. You know, I just didn't get a chance to, 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 to touch on it before they named the squad. So, you know, I, I was doing some reading and, you know, I would have seen it in the Guyana Times where um, Joseph Reds Pereira was saying that the, the, the selectors need to make bold decisions. So this is what um, he, he said, and I quote, after the heavy defeat in three days in Dominica, the selectors, the Honorable Desmond Haynes and Roland Butcher are now forced to really reconstruct the side and so make some major changes. 
He said that I certainly believe they should make some bold changes. He says what has not worked in the past continues to be non-productive and certainly a lineup of the second test will offer the Caribbean people some hope as we might be competitive, especially if there is some backing from the crowd for the 100th game anniversary celebration, says Pereira. Right, so that is what he's saying, my viewers and subscribers. You know, he said that Gabriel is a man that will bring genuine peace, while Jordan, you know, will be will will demonstrate his control and you know, bowling good off stump line and length. He's saying, you know, he also spoke about uh, saying that if you 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 want to give an off spinner uh, a debut test match, you know, there is nothing like his home ground. So I don't know, don't know, I don't know how that's going to work out. <laughs> because Brian Charles, the name, the squad, and Brian Charles is not there. You understand, as I, as I, as I said earlier, it's just one change. So, you know, you can imagine Joseph Fritz Pereira will have a lot to say on that once, once they, they, we go out there. All right, my viewers and subscribers. Moving on, uh, sticking to a Trinidadian though, Dwayne Bravo. He was actually in good form yesterday as he made his career best uh, 76 not out in the MLC. Taking this one from the Sportsmax website. So it says, former West Indies all-rounder Dwayne Bravo rolled back the years to hit a career best 76 not out. But it wasn't enough to prevent the Washington Freedom from defeating his team, the Texas Super Kings, by six runs. Now, the Freedom, they first batted and made 163 for 5. Um, 163 for 5 is what they got there. Uh, they, they, you know, Bravo's team, they, when they were chasing, they were 78 for 6. And Bravo came in and, you know, he batted extremely well. He actually hit uh, 5 fours and 6 sixes in a 39 ball innings there. So... You know, Bravo showing the people that he still can swing the, uh, the, 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 the willow bat. Um, mm, so 157 for 8 is where they ended. Akil Hussein, he actually took 2 for 25 off his 4 overs. And uh, Marco Jensen, he got 2 for 31 to help. Uh, you know, so, so that is how Dwayne Bravo's team lost that game. To another former West Indies all-rounder, this time we're talking Kyron Pollard. Taking it from Sportsmax again, it says uh, Pollard's Mumbai Indians, uh, New York, crushes Narayan's LA Knight Riders by 105 runs. So it says, following what could only be described as an uh, object display of batting, Sunil Narayan's uh, Los Angeles Knight Riders were skittled out for 50 they say, yes, that's right, 50 runs. And they ended up losing the game by 105 runs. <laughs> no, neither side, um, based on what they are saying there, would have been proud of, of, of their efforts out there based on how uh you know the game based on how the game went. So let me see if I can squeeze in it and see how the, the, the T20 um superstars did. So they say, um, based on how it is looking here, uh, Nicholas Puran, you know, he got 38. And Tim David, the player of the match, um, he scored, uh, what, what's that, 48. You know, <laughs> so the team uh, posted 155 for 8. That is how it went. And, you know, Narayan's team, they were unable to chase it down. Andre Russell faced six balls for two runs. Narayan him face uh, four uh, for his uh, two runs as they were bowled out inside 14 overs. Boy, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> um, the, 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 great, the great T20 superstars. So that is how that game went, my viewers and subscribers. So Pollard and his team securing a victory in that one. Just wanted to give you that little bit of update. We're going to leave it right here for now.